Welcome to Wine of the Week, or it should be called Wines of the Week today, because we have four very special wines for you today. Pulling and out all the stops. We are pulling out all the stops. We are talking amazing, incredible wines. Andre, tell us about these wines. Oh, well, I'd just like to say welcome to the Quaff headquarters. Oh, shit, look, around. <laughs> it's empty, we've got no more money left. Let go, let go. <laughs> yeah, no furniture. We'll get there. We're moving in Monday. This is in celebration. We want to do something very special for you since we're moving in, and we found it. This is one of those things where, being in the wine industry, you come across an opportunity to find some great wines that are really left in the field. Yeah. Absolutely. Alright, so here's the story. Four guys yes. get together four or five years ago and they just want to make 100 cases of cracking wine. No expensive spare. It's something they can just drink themselves and share among their mates. That's the story. They just want to make one wine. I think they made a, they sourced the best fruit. They made a Greenup Creek uh, Barossa Shiraz right. and, um, and, and that was the beginning of their hobby. I mean, Parker, I think, took it and gave it 97 points, and Halliday gave it 95 points, and that was the end of their little hobby project. And before you know it, I think last year they find themselves selling 2,000 cases and seven different wines in five different countries and restaurants in Melbourne, and they just didn't set out to do that, and they all had other jobs, and they just didn't have the time to do it. So I think they just thought, this is not what we set out to do, pulled the plug. Solitary Vineyards was the name of their brand. Um, but they got consistently 94, 95 points from Parker and from Halliday, and they just went, no, it's not what we want to do. So, we find ourselves in possession of their 2007s. Two Grenache, two Shiraz, cracking wines. And, to give you any indication of what the style of wines are, if you think about Parker giving 97, 96 points, we are talking big wines. These are not for your faint hearted, these are absolute ballsy big reds. Absolutely, That's unashamedly right. so. But best fruit that money can buy, best oak, best bottles, best corks. I don't know why I'm showing them this because we wrote that ourselves. <laughs> um, but you can see how big and heavy the bottle is because this is no <laughs> expense. Uh, Roland Flat Grenache. Grenache. Roland Flat subregion of Rossa, and okay. this is not a shy wine. Let the games begin. Delicious notes. Intense. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I mean, this is, this is, I mean, it comes out of the glass. It's big, baby, but it's got, and it's really uh, that kind of burnt caramel toffee kind of thing going on. Um, it's and, stewed strawberries. Yeah, and stewed fruit, which, you know, and a little bit of spice from that Grenache. Heaps it's, of spice, I mean, yeah. yeah. Barossa Grenache, isn't it? That is Barossa Grenache. Massive pepper and cloves and <coughs> spice over this. These bright fruits. It's um, look the length and look. We tried this earlier. The, the length is here to there. The palate weight, the intensity, it's all there. This is the kind of um, like a Mishak or a Granite Creek or a Octavius. This is your level of wines, um, unlabeled and at a price that we'll tell you soon. That is. Shameful, but so so that's the kind of level of quality. So we we'll won't go on about the wine making and everything like that with them. We'll just tell you about the directions and the differences. Right? Yes, absolutely. And bring you home. All the right. second one, Onkaparinga Grenache. This is another big beauty from Onkaparinga, which is kind of like Southern Fluru, isn't it? Yeah. So um, really, you know, your McLaren Vale sort of direction <whistles> steps it up. Riper fruits, sweeter fruits on the nose, yes. straight away. That candied fruit that you sometimes get in Grenache, but all that spice and licorice still in there. And uh, vanilla, vanilla from the oaks, like vanilla coke. Um, it's rich, ripe, super lifted. It's mm. freaking delicious as well. Mm. It's fantastic. Spicy sweet fruits. It's big, but it, it's tighter. It's got yeah. tighter lines in that one, but massive pepper. Yeah, yeah. Massive pepper. It's wow, amazing Grenache in full flight. Grenache in full flight. There you go. Slightly more layered complex, a little bit subtler. You know, subtler when you're talking about 15.3% alcohol, but that's that. And then big sweeter fruit. Onto the Shiraz. Kalimna Shiraz, Kalimna subregion of Barossa, obviously, again. And. Don't even go there. Don't even go to Penfold's Kalimna. This is a whole different. Whole other ball game. All right. Wow. Um, this is one of those, it's like, it's got a tight, packed flavour ball, but it's, um... Got some soy sauce on it. Yeah, absolutely. On yeah. the nose? It's, it's, 
you want it's more. It's one of those ones that's kind of like a tight pool. It'll probably open up over time. But it's got a lot going. Cigar box. Salty, soy saucy, spicy, vanilla. No, no real, no fruit bomb on the nose, is it? Mm -mm. Mm. Talk about soy sauce on the nose. That is rich and dark and it's um it's tight, it's very tight. Talk about has it got juicy fruit in it though? Yeah, like but it's but it's, fruit, like it's juicy, but it's tightly yeah. stuck in there. It's going to open up over time. But that is a very, you know, that whole iron Ayers, fist in Ayers. a velvet glove kind of thing. That's that. Real pepper, chariness, um, juicy fruits. Wow, a bit of leafiness. Um, really interesting. Got that is an absolute, years ahead of it. That's an absolute it? belting one. Yeah, absolute yeah. Got a lot of class. Got a lot it of class. About. It's got a lot of classes, about 16% alcohol. Doesn't deserve to be tipped out, but we've got a lot of wines to get through. And, and this, this last one, Marananga. Marananga Shiraz 07 again. A sort of Sepulsville Road sort of way. Yeah. Uh, again, these are all single vineyard site um, parcels of fruit. Basket press, made with no expense, like made, made as, as well as you can make a wine. You know what? Yeah. This is what you get. Right. <laughs> Grab a massive chunk of dirt. Like, we're talking <laughs> earth. Grab it. Hump. That is what is in that glass. It is earthy. You can you can smell and but taste. more pleasant. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good thing. You can taste the earth. It's fantastic. Oh, it's everything dark, isn't it? There's much more fruit in this, but, but like blackberries and blood plums and dark black pepper and aniseed and licorice and cloves and everything black. Everything black is in there. Black earth. This is an evil one. It is a dirty, <laughs> it's beautiful. dark. And, but you know what? It is so approachable. Like this one, tightly woven. This one, mm. it is like, you know, I imagine this big guy sitting around this big wooden dining table, all sitting around how manly they are. Yeah. And you know, the wines yeah. in the can are all like talking about how manly they are because they've got these amazing big ballsy wines. And I go just big dominatrix with black leather, just whipping and put... No, I digress. <laughs> yes. Big no. wine, dark, brooding, sexy wine. Again, you've got a little bit, you've got the contrast, you've got somewhat Elegant layers and um, mystery and, and it's it's hot. It's just being a bit secretive. Yeah, it's being a bit secretive and big black. This Sexy. one's a bold Sexy. man. <laughs> there you have it. These are our four wines. It's really exciting. It's not often you get to find uh, these kind of top shelf wines. You dream about finding them unlabeled, and um, we found them. And they're yours for nineteen ninety nine a bottle. They come in six packs. We can't mix them up because they have nothing on them. And, um, but, but, look, take your pick based on what we've uh, described to you, or try a six pack of each, put some away, drink some now, I dare you, pull them out at a dinner party and watch people's jaws drop, this will blow them away, this is Absolutely. top shelf stuff. And Justin, welcome to Quaff Headquarters. Cheers. What a fitting celebration. Yes. Because we're going to do some big things here at Quaff, and these are some big wines. Uh, Facebook page, free shipping code, as always. Facebook.com forward slash Quaff, Q-W-O-F-F. Get them, get a six pack of each, because these are amazing wines. They're going to be a few less, because I'm going to take some myself. Magnificent wine of the week. We're very excited. Thank you to the boys from Solitary Vineyards for getting it. Justin, yep. cheers. Cheers, cheers. See you next time. Cheers.